Has your dog been frequently urinating every hour or so? Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Have you noticed in the last day or so that your dog just keeps wanting to go outside and urinate? frequently and they're just these small amounts. She strains a little bit. You see a little bit of a dribble come out. Your dog may have an uncomplicated UTI that's a urinary tract infection. It's always a good idea to see your veterinarian, have them do a urinalysis, at least get a confirmatory diagnosis. But that being said, say this just occurred all of a sudden, you're like, dog, is there something I can try at home for a UTI? So what's likely causing your dog's UTI most commonly is E. coli, bacteria that makes up feces. Likely there's secondary contamination that's made its way up the urethra into the bladder. Hence your dog has this bladder infection. She's straining to urinate, urinating often. This is really common. And I remember my last dog, Lewis, he was about six months old, super common with puppies right around the age of them, you know, the male he's starting to produce testosterone, some of the females starting to cycle, come in heat. For whatever reason, often UTIs will pop up then. They make these simple, uncomplicated UTIs. And some of these home remedies can work really well. Today's remedy is gonna include green tea, one cup. Dark unpasteurized honey. We're gonna be using one heaping tablespoon. I'm gonna be adding that to our green tea. Okay, Pippi. You don't get it yet, Pipster. <laughs> and our third ingredient, it is apple cider vinegar. We're going to be adding one tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar to our green tea honey concoction. The green tea is antibacterial and has been documented to be beneficial for UTIs. Dark, unpasteurized honey seems to have the highest antibacterial properties. So if you can get dark, local, unpasteurized honey, that would be ideal. The apple cider vinegar, what it appears to do is lower the urine pH. We know that with most dogs, when they're gonna have a urinary tract infection, it's because the pH isn't low enough, it's not acidic enough, allowing the bacteria to take hold in the first place. So if you can lower that urine pH, you can make it even more difficult for that bacteria to grow. As far as a dose, it'd be about one cup of this, so this exact amount per 50 pounds of body weight daily. If Pippi were to have a UTI, I'd be then be giving her you know, half of this twice a day assuming that she's gonna drink it readily on her own. Let's do a little taste test here. Okay, Pipster, here's a little taste test sample. Green tea, apple cider vinegar, and honey. <sighs> Baby likes it. If your dog's about Tula size, about 25 pounds, be about a quarter of a cup twice a day. This is a 20 cc syringe, 20 ml syringe. It would be three of these syringe fulls twice a day, so if they won't drink it, you can always just squirt it into the side of their mouth. If your dog has an uncomplicated UTI and this is gonna help, you're gonna see a result within one to two days. If not, obviously go back and see your veterinarian. Then I would suggest giving this over the course of five to seven days. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of Treating Your Dog's UTI. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.